Hello, NoNMRC here with a new review and setup video about the HT FPV from Hoverthings.com. And um, first of all, you can see this is not just a regular uh, quad frame like uh, an X shape or uh, a plus configuration, but you can see that the front arms are a bit swung out, and of course, that's for um, the clear view for the camera, so you don't have the annoying propellers in front. And um, that is uh, just very nice about this quad frame and it looks just also pretty nice, a bit like a bug. You can, you can see like like this, it's just, it just looks pretty nice. But um, anyway, let's talk about the power setup on this uh, quad. I have um, NTM prop drive motors from Hobby King, 2826, 1200 kV motors. And they work just fine with the free cell. I have um, gem fan carbon filled props, eight by four and a half inch, and they are they are a bit like plastic, but uh, they are carbon filled, so they're more they are more rigid and strong, and uh, really stiff. And um, I've crashed this, uh, crashed this quadcopter two times. It's my first quadcopter, so I was a bit. Uh, it, it was a bit of a learning experience also, but the props didn't break or something and the frame also didn't break, so that's very nice. Uh, I used uh, I used TurnG Plus uh, uh, ECs, 3D amp, and they work just fine with the NASA. And um, that goes to a TurnG Nanotech 3 cell battery, uh, 3300 milliamp hour battery. 35 to 90 C discharge battery and it works just fine. You have about nine minutes of flying time when you're just hoovering and then uh, doing things easy But when you're flying fast and doing FPV and stuff and exploring things uh, You have like seven to eight minutes of flying time so uh, When you're doing FPV make sure you return after uh, Six minutes of flying or I don't know when you, how far you were away then but that depends also but it's enough flying time for me, actually. And um, as you can see, I'm using the NASA for stabilization, and that works just fine. And I have my uh, free sky receiver in it, and um, the VEU unit from uh, NASA, from the NASA, is just sitting on the arm, and it's lighting up the inner side, so you can see it from a big distance, and that works just good. Um, you can see the GoPro in front with the layer lens and uh, it looks a bit different than a normal GoPro with layer lens because I have a, an older lens on it and as you can see that new lens on this image uh, sticks out a little bit more so I had to make uh, a little wooden structure to uh, lift up the layer lens and now it just fits nice and um, I'm just using my simple FPV on this quad and uh, just the, uh, the normal FH18C camera from Foxtech, but I've put a 2.1 millimeter lens on it for a wider angle image, and that's just very nice. Also, I have a Foxtech. Yeah, it's my simple FPV. So this is just my uh, 5.8 200 milliwatt transmitter, and um, it's my simple FPV. So if I want to plug it out, it needs to be done easy, and that's. How I came up with the plug system. Just from the circuit board that comes out, there's a little X60 plug. Oh, sorry. And uh, if I want to, I can just plug it out right there. And uh, I can put that plug underneath so it's wo it won't be uh, in any way. And, um, uh, yeah, just the looks are amazing about the squads and um, uh, the FPV works nice, that's on top, on the back and uh, it works just fine. So um, I hope you liked this video and um, of course I want to thank Flytest for the goodies that we got from them. It's been a while ago though, uh, but um, they, are, they are really nice on the ground station, they, uh, we really like them. And the t-shirt also is very nice. So thank you Flytest for that. And um, thanks to Dave Slack who also has this configuration on his quad and it, 
the, his video helped me a lot to uh, get this uh, get this setup, and it works just fine. So uh, thanks, Dave Slack, and here's some little flight footage. Enjoy. Thank you.